After eight came and 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 the fellow from uh, from uh, J. Walton Thompson said that he's handling the after eight client uh, a new campaign, and they would like to uh, he would like to propose uh, two after eight shooting in my house on a Sunday dinner. And I said, well, I always thought after eight was a bit snooty, and I always thought it was a bit poshy, and I'm not posh and I'm not snooty, but. <laughs> But if After Eight wants to do it, I'll do it. And little did I know what I was getting into, but uh, now I, I, it goes into Britain, Wales, England, Scotland, and Ireland. And every week I'm getting calls from those four places, plus the National Public Radio. And now I've recently appeared in an Italian newspaper, a German intellectual paper. So, uh, ah! <laughs> Now, I don't know what you all are up to, but <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess uh, if anyone has any questions rather than me babbling on, I could babble. I was a professor at the University of Paris for 30 years, so I can babble. You know. <laughs> professor, what? Excuse me? What was your um, subject? I taught, well, that's very funny. It's a long story. <laughs> make, it, make it very short. I got invited to be a professor, a visiting professor. Uh, everybody knows about May 68, right? And the, the, the revolution. Well, as a result of May 68, they built a new university that was going to be innovative, uh, experimental, wild, free, you know, relevant, <laughs> and uh, open. And uh, I had done some favors for some French professors and had never called in uh, uh, a quid pro quo. I said, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. And I did it in Edinburgh when I had a theater in Edinburgh, and then I did it in London when I had a theater in London. And I more or less forgot about it. I mean, you know, uh, sometimes you do things and you forget it, and then it comes back and hits you in the nose uh, later. And they invited me to come and be a visiting professor in Paris. And I said, well, I, A, I'm not an academic. B, I'm not, I have no aspirations to be an academic. C, I don't speak French. And uh, D, uh, I'm happy in London and, you know, well, they invited me over anyway and they said, you can teach in English. And so I accepted. And they said, what do you want to teach? They asked me that. And I said, I, said, I want to teach media studies and yeah. sexual politics. <laughs> and I did that for 30 years. Actually, I should say I did it every Tuesday afternoon. So my weekend began Tuesday night and my weekend ended Tuesday noon. <laughs> I did that for 30 years. <laughs> Question. You asked me a question. Did I answer it? Yes, you did. Yes, I did. Do you have any favorite events? Any favorite supper clubs that you've done? No, I, 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 was, I was talking earlier about being a, 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 an existentialist, and I always like to live in the present tense, so I don't like. I mean, I, the past, I have great memories. And so I, here's your favorite. <laughs> That's what I said. Today, today, that one disappeared. This, this is it. This is it. No, I, I really, uh, I, I have fun expectations, but this is it. You know? It's yeah. What's your favorite food? My favorite food. You know. I once was asked to write an article about the secret ice cream parlors of the world, and I, I, I was hesitant about writing such an article because I thought it would end up like that, you know, Dumbo, uh, Michelin Man, <laughs> just to research such an article, you know. But anyway, I ended up by saying that the again, it's an existential question. The the greatest ice cream is the one I have in the, sitting in front of me right now and I'm eating. And uh, that's the way I am about food. I mean, when I'm eating Vietnamese, I love Vietnamese. When I'm eating Thai, I love Thai. When I'm eating Mexican, I love Mexican. I'm eating Italian, I love Italian. No, I don't know. I like everything. Tonight was the first course. I could have had the first course two times. I mean, I like it. <laughs> In fact, any time you want to come over to Paris, I have two guest bedrooms. You can come and stay. You can come and stay, and you bring. You come and you know. Of course. Yeah, you can come and, and cook a meal and 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 stay the week.
Oh, we can. Oh, we cook a meal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did I have guest chefs? I, I, I can't cook for... I can't boil an egg or, or fry an egg or cook for one or two people, but I can cook for a hundred. Believe it or not. <laughs> Can you speak French now? You know, my I, I speak French now, but I, I, I really kill the language. And, uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like uh, I don't know what language it is. I think it's Malay, where they don't have tenses. They just say, we say today or, or, or tomorrow, or, or but everything is in the present. That's me in French. Not quite. I'm not 